Hi everyone, Phil here. And this is a quick video in response to a question that I received on the message boards for Tinkercad. Is there a way to import a material file that goes with a 3D object? So the first thing that I want to do is kind of replicate what uh, this person um, is asking here. So, or replicate what they what they did. So the first thing I did was create a test cube right here that's um, defaulted to a red cube. And what I'm going to do is export that out as an OBJ file. And as you can see, I've actually done it several times here, ran the test. So the first thing that I'm going to do is bring over the zip file that's created when you export. And I'm going to extract all the files in this test environment. Not, not everyone has to do this, but this is what I do, just kind of general practice. And what I want to point out is that when you when you export a 3D object um, as an OBJ, there's two different files that are that are exported. So you have the OBJ file, the 3D object itself, and we'll wait till this just loads up here. Um, we have the 3D object, which is red. Um, and then we actually have the material file that goes with it. Now, um, so what I'm going to do here is import that object. Now, here are the four files that Tinkercad supports currently um, when you're up when you're uploading or importing a, a file. So there's an STL, OBJ, and SVG. So for intensive purposes, why don't we try to bring up bring both? So you get a message here that says that an obj.mtl file is not supported. And just, just for testing purposes, um, we want to be able to test out just the mtl file. And the same, the same message is provided. Now when we whoops, now when we drag the obj file, as you can see, uh, it's it, it shows up here, and we're able to upload it. Now, hmm, interesting. Now, once it's uploaded, it comes with a default color, but that's not the original color that we had with our test cube, right? So what we want to do is go back to our test cube that we originally started with in Tinkercad, and you want to click on the object itself. And once you do that, this window pops up and it gives you the option to add, either have a solid or um, as a whole. And what you want to do is click on the, the solid. Once you click on that, you have a piece of hex code here and that represents the color. What you want to do is copy that. And once you've copied that, you're all done. And go back to your imported object and do the same thing. Um, click on the object and then click on the solid part of the window here. And then as you can see that the hex code is different, it is that pink color there. And it changes, it seems like it changes every time that you, that you import an object. And once you do that, you paste the red hex color and you are now, and then now you have the red cube color or the red color for that cube that was on the original 3D object. So currently right now, um, Tinkercad slash uh, Autodesk does not currently have the option to import a material. However, if you're looking for a temporary solution um, to, to at least retain the same hex color, this is just a very short, short solution to be able to do that. So I hope this helps. If you have initial questions, just let me know. But uh, glad to help and um, good luck. But thank you very much for watching this video.